G3OJV from Waters and Stanton Limited and today I want to talk about SWR meters. Now this is a standard SWR meter that you might find in any station and of course most transceivers have some form of VSWR indicator on the uh, front panel but I want to talk today about something which is a little bit different it's the Ellicraft W2 power watt meter. So here we are this is the Ellicraft W2 power watt meter as you can see on the front panel there are two rows of LEDs. The top row indicates power and the bottom row indicates the VSWR. There's a switch on the, on the side there which lets you select the power level. You can select um, power levels of 2 watts, 20 watts or 200 watts, that's full scale power. The meter will actually read down to about 2 or 300 milliwatts and at that level you still get an indication of VSWR so particularly useful if you're running QRP there's also an auto uh, sensing button on the other side there and that enables the power meter to automatically switch to whatever power level is appropriate for whatever power you're running the other interesting thing is that it will actually read PEP now how does it do this? well it does that very simply the LED display there is very quick acting so it will actually indicate PEP and you can select the peak hold button there and that will then hold the LED that reads the peak power so for about one second the LED will light up and hold there and that will indicate the peak power at that particular moment or that particular syllable so very easily you can read the PEP now on the back you might expect to see S239s, but no you don't. The reason for that is this power meter uses a separate sensor uh, and it plugs into the uh, one of the two sockets there. You can have, actually have two sensors. Another interesting little thing on the back is that it's got um, an LED brightness control. Sometimes, I don't know if you find the same as I do, the LED, LEDs can be so bright they're almost blinding. Well, this control here enables you to adjust the level of the, um, of the LED lighting. Now, the other thing I want to show you is the um, sensor. This is the sensor. This is a 200 watt sensor which goes from 1 megahertz to 54 megahertz. You can get additional sensors, you can get one that goes up to 2 kilowatts, and you can get a, a VHF UHF sensor. So the beauty of this is that once you purchase the W2, you can also purchase additional sensors. And of course the sensor is terminated with the familiar SO239. So now what I'm going to do, <clears throat> I'm going to uh, plug the uh, W2 into my uh, K3 transceiver and give you a demonstration. Right, this is the uh, 2 watt test, set the uh, maximum power to 2 watts and if you look on the far right you'll see the PEP when I stop talking. Uh, this is Golf 3 Oscar Juliet Victor testing. Hello test 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Golf 3 Oscar Juliet Victor testing. In this next test I've set the power meter to a maximum of 20 uh, watts there but I've actually set the uh, K3 to a power output of 12 watts. So if you watch the uh, upper meter, you'll see uh, it measuring the PEP. Hello, test, this is Golf 3 Oscar Juliet Victor. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Golf 3 Oscar Juliet Victor. G3O JV testing. Now I've set the power meter to uh, 200 watts maximum and the transceiver, the K3 transceiver to 100 watts. I'll just zoom back a bit and you'll be able to see the uh, K3 indicating as well. Hello test, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Golf 3 Oscar, Juliet Victor, G3 OJV testing. Golf 3 Oscar, the Juliet Victor testing. Well there we have it, the Ellicraft W2 power meter, VSWR meter. I rather like it. One of the other things I've found is that it makes setting the transmit compression control 
very easy because you can immediately see not only the PEP but you can see your average power coming up and uh, it's available from us either as a kit or ready built so thank you for watching Thank you.